Because I told you, I get, I get like a really big Silma vibe from this. Oh? No, no. Identify yourself. Identify yourself right now. Welcome everybody to an early look at Syndrome. As you can tell by the bottom right corner of the screen, this is indeed a press build of the game, so everything you see here is not going to be indicative of the final build. But what we do have available to us right now is the first two hours of Syndrome. And it's a game I really don't know too much about. I've been keeping my eye on it because it actually looks really, really good, at least in the screenshots and trailers and news I read about it. Um, and I finally got my hands on it to show off here to you, which I'm excited about. But beyond that, I'm not really too familiar with it, other than the fact that it reminds me a lot of a Say Something like Soma meets System Shock 2. That entire, you know, build up to suspense and horror in space, essentially. Now, beyond that, I've taken the game out for a spin to get comfortable with the controllers and to make sure it actually recorded fine and everything is all good on that part. But I haven't played it beyond that point because I wanted to keep that, you know, fresh for the videos and, you know, come in not knowing what to expect, essentially. So, all that's said and done, let's get into Syndrome over here and um, get the ball rolling. So, we'll go into New Game. Alrighty, and we are in control finally, so leave the cryo chamber room, you got it. So, obviously this is the first part I already played, so I know what to do over here. We've got to access this terminal, unlock that locked door over here. Uh, let's see here, we have everybody as you can see deceased other than ourselves. Let's go ahead and unlock the door, we are Trent Gallant. Now I'm playing this over here with a controller, which is something I'd rather not be doing, but for some reason I'm having troubles running this game right at the moment with my keyboard and mouse, so... Controls it is, so forgive me if I have some issues here, but, you know, first-person game with a controller, it's not something I'm too comfortable with anymore, oddly enough. So, find out what's going on. The game, as you can see, looks amazing, though, sir. Solar flare detected. Blast shutters need to be closed immediately. Solar flare detect... that's not good for us, probably. Close to blast windows, okay. At this point, I'm just running blind, so, um... We'll try to figure this out together. What's going um, on here? It's a lot of talking too, so I'm gonna try to keep the commentary down to a minimum as well. Not only that, it's a horror game in a sense, I guess maybe. So I don't really want to steal from the experience by being, um, you know, funny idiot Falcon Man over here for once. You know, it's gonna be kind of hard, but we'll give it a try. So we gotta close some blast doors. Uh huh. Am I this short, or <laughs> what happened to the rest of my body? I, I am standing, right? I'm not walking around crouching. No, this would be crouching. Okay, well. Technically, that's not where it's supposed to be, though. Now, if I was a blast door control panel, where would I allow myself to be installed at? That's the real question. Okay, here we have a text line. Solar flare detected. Blast shutters need to be closed. Okay. Well, I plan to do that. Just give me a sec. Uh, Shanti, I hate this job. I hate spending the best years of my life inside a ship. I really wasn't made for this, but well, the pay is good. I'm earning ten times what I would be earning at the dock. Well, I mean, you know, if you're earning ten times the amount of money elsewhere... Sounds like something you gotta settle with, my friend. But yeah, I don't know when shit hits the fan with this game, so, you know, that's the thing I'm worried about here. Oh, I think we found it. Manual closure is advisable. Okay, so close the windows. Excellent. Oh, they are indeed being closed. Of course, it's just making it darker in here now, too. Something tells me that's not all of them? No, we gotta find another one, apparently. Alright, cool. Doors, no doors, window. Game runs pretty smooth. 
so far. I got everything maxed out. The game looks pretty good, nice, you know, it's got a lot of effects going over here. I can see the chromatic aberration jumping out at me. Got some flares, got the vignettes and everything, but for the most part, you're probably good, right? It does look nice, and it runs well. Of course, plenty of games look nice and don't really have the proper gameplay to back it up, so let's hopefully this um, works out for us pretty well. Gameplay and good looking at the same time. Secure. Great. Leave this area. Now, what about... Yeah, here we go. Did I miss you the first time around? Uh, the company wants us to pick up some military team in a nearby moon. I don't like unexpected detours, but they're offering a nice bonus. They're just here for the ride, so it's worth the extra time. Alright. Good. Ship log. Uh, log 890, all systems operational, nothing to report. Detected unusual readings today. We were unable to find out what's causing them. Steve found out the readings originate from the lower decks of the ship. These are spaced out January. We have June. We have uh, September. And over here in December. Uh, Chief Ryler was here today and ordered us to cease all scannings of the anomaly. This is highly irregular and will be duly reported. All right. Stats. Seven healthy. Zero sick, three injured, 343 dead. Oh, that's uh, quite a number that pops out to you. Security. Lobby exit secured. Unlock it. Oh, sure, I guess. System secured on. Huh. Now, so was this secured by us in the past before we were apparently frozen, or is it telling us that we did it recently just now? I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out. Um, so I just unlocked a lobby door. So. I'm no rocket scientist here, but something tells me to go find a lobby door. And you tell me that's a lobby. That works out as well. Scanning for possible contaminations. Is anyone there? Can anyone hear me? I'm here. Who's this? This is Commander Naomi. I'm part of the Marine Detachment aboard the Valkenberg. Identify yourself. I'm, uh... I'm Galen. Officer Galen? We thought you were dead. I just woke up from cryosleep. My mind is a blur. I don't know what's going on. How long have you been asleep? I'm not sure. I don't remember much. Most likely the effect of cryosleep. You should be okay in a few hours. I hope so. Where is everyone? Okay. Something really bad has happened on the ship. Um, bad? What do you mean? Galen. I'm locked in the lower floor of the ship with some of my men. We need you to restore power. Are you able to do this? I'll try, but... Be careful. Trust no one. I must break contact or they'll find us. They? Who's they? Scan complete. The thing that stood out was um, she mentioned the lower decks and we did read the log that there was an anomaly back in the lower deck, so... Who knows, and she mentioned day. As I told you, I get, I get like a really big Soma vibe from this. Oh? No, no. Identify yourself. Identify yourself right now! Then again, I got no weapon or anything, so what am I going to do? Just pick this up. What? Uh, I can't wait to see Dave. I love him so much. It's been two months now. If my transfer to the station is accepted, we'll be closer. I can't stand to be apart from him for so long. This is from Kara. Okay. Uh, you do not look human. And you're holding a pipe? You're a robot, aren't you? Robot... Fucking canine... Like... What was that? There's a door behind me. What? Crawling in my... Alright. You're not gonna... Let's just do it. You're not gonna come alive. Right? You're fine. 
You got a dog-like head, which worries me a lot. It's just really creepy for a robot, especially. What is this supposed to do? Alright, sweet. So that actually works out as our save. Great. So we have a... a save now. That's good. Assuming this thing decides to come to life and kill me, we know where to start from. And avoid it. Okay, so let's just come into the creepier room here with the writing and... Well, with the writing and blood all over the walls now. We are all dead. Comforting to read. Crawling in my mind. To be honest with you, it's a lot better than crawling in the skin, you know? And you get the whole Lincoln Park shit happening over here. Uh, let's see, pick up the slog. Marius R. Dr. Volbeck continues to disturb me with the psychological reports of my crew. He doesn't know... He doesn't know them like I do. We're a perfect machine, me, the ship, and the crew. They're just tired. We can handle everything. Ah, uh, seems like you handle it quite well. Alright. Go ahead and try to avoid stepping on the blood here. What are you? System power is off. Turn it on. There we go. Nope, not on. Unable to power system. Manual override necessary at auxiliary terminals 1 and 2. It's never that easy now, is it? This um, writing on the walls of blood? Not something I'm too um crazy about. Especially when you apparently follow it up with some claw marks in the door. It's never good. What the... Alright. <laughs> We're good now. We're good now. I just needed to... I needed to catch my breath there for a second. Of course, bodies. Oh, good. Cool. One of them's missing their head, too. That's great. Door, you need to stop closing and opening behind me. You're not doing me any favors here. Stop it. Search body. Comfort by feel doing this. Nothing at all. Search you guys? No? Okay. The noises are just not really too um you know, doing a doing <laughs> helping me out at all, I guess. Keep hearing like, you know, just strange scraping on metal and sounds like kids in the background having a good time or something. That's one of my biggest fears, kids having a good time. What are you kids doing? You having a good time? No, not on my watch. You, I want you kids to be miserable right now. I'm sorry, I'm trying to just calm my nerves over here by being a smart ass. That's what I normally do. Alright, so everything so far has been inaccessible to us, and this right here is also inaccessible. Hey, shoo! <laughs> this is it, isn't it? This is when it happens. What's the gimmick here? If I look away, you get closer? No gimmick. Oh, it's after I activate it, huh? Okay, I got you. That's when it happens. The system has been, a, the system has been online for 187.5 hours, or and a half hours. Enable. So we have the first one in... We have the first one <laughs> overrided. I'm sorry, I thought this thing was going to just pop up and kill me right now. What's happening over here? Can I open vent? I'm going to come in here. You're going to chase me, aren't you? Just walk forward. And if he chases you, you're expecting it, fam. You're expecting it right now, so it's nothing to be scared of. Okay, no, that's not what I was expecting at all. What? I'm hearing things. Yeah, you, you and me both, buddy. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's just keep going forward. I expect that robot to show up anytime soon, I can tell you that much, but the, the whole zooming out of thing that that was not something I thought was gonna happen my surprise Dave is not answering my messages I hope nothing's wrong it's so hard being apart from him all I want is to start my life together with him that's Kara again okay so she was the one I was looking forward to get into the ship to be with um Dave 
Is this the next override? Yeah, it is. Online. Alright. Is this when it happens? Oh, come on! Just let me use the door! I don't want to go back through there! This is... This obviously has to be it. I'm gonna walk around a corner. Dogman robot's gonna be just staring me right at the eye. And I'm gonna scream. Because even though I'm expecting it, it's gonna be really... unnatural. These canine-like robots out here. Okay. Here, here's what happens, right? Yeah. They come out... Clubs me over the head. Stay in there. Okay, he stayed in there. Restore power. Okay, good. Now I just... I gotta go back to initially where I started, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Alex, he's... we've got power again. What? Big jam. Incoming audio transmission. Officer Gallon, can you hear me? My name is James Marco, technical assistant second class. You can call me Jimmy. I know you were contacted by Naomi. Don't listen to her. Naomi and her soldiers are insane. They're shooting everyone on sight. A friend of mine from engineering was gunned down in front of me. They didn't even give him a chance to speak. You probably don't trust me, but that's okay. I don't trust anyone on this ship either. But we need to get the ship moving and find help. I'm locked in a cargo bay and can't do much from here, but I can guide you. You need to fix the engine so we can get this thing moving. Okay. Great. Conflicting stories. Who to believe? Uh huh. One of you guys isn't telling the truth. Engine room. Ah, uh, that's back. Okay, initially we're around, which is going to be down here, right? Yeah. Now, is this able to be open now? All righty. Well, you know what? We're gonna wrap up this episode here. Uh, I'm gonna save. Uh, I'm gonna save. <laughs> I'm gonna get my wits together. We'll come back next episode. And uh, there was a thing I just ran across. I just saw it. I'll catch you guys next time.